Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. Let's see about automating web using Python in this video. We will be using Selenium to automate Google form filling and submission of the form. So in my previous tutorial, I have explained about Google search automation using Python and Selenium. So for installation of Selenium and Chrome driver, kindly watch that video. I have given the link in the description below. So now this is the form which I have created. The user should enter the student name, phone number and choose an option between school or college student and the name of school or college and then we have to submit the form. We are going to do this in an automated way using Python and Selenium. So first we need to copy the URL and let's start writing the code. First we have to import WebDriver from Selenium. Selenium import WebDriver. Then we need to create an object for the webdriver. Let me name it as web equal to webdriver dot crow. Now using get method we can enter the URL to be opened. So web dot get within this quotes I am just pasting that Google form URL here. Now we can start filling the form. So the first thing to be filled is the student name. Let me store the answer in a variable called sname. I am just going to give Christopher. Okay, then we need to select the DOM element of the HTML and interact with them by using find underscore element method. So we have to fill out this field. So click on it, right click, inspect. Okay, so this is a DOM element. From this we have to select the XPath. So just right click on this, copy copy xpath that's it and then you have to paste it in find underscore element method let me save it in a variable called name equal to web dot find underscore element and the first argument is xpath and the second argument will be the xpath which we have copied okay so this is the xpath now you can make use of send keys method actually send keys method is used to send a particular text to any field it can be input field of the form so i'm going to send the keys to this field name dot send underscore keys the value to be sent here is the yes name the name is stored in the variable yes name so yes name is passed here as an argument okay fine so let's save it and execute it This Chrome is opened automatically and it is being controlled by automated test software. And the Google form is being loaded now. But we got an error. The name which we have entered is not filled automatically. Let's see what error we have got. So it is not able to send the keys to this variable name. And the message we have got is element not intractable exception. So to overcome this error, what we are supposed to do? We get this error because... The browser is still trying to render the HTML. That's why it's not able to send the keys. So we should wait for a time of one or two seconds for the browser to load and then render this HTML. So to do that, let me import time module and after loading this Google form, it should wait for at least two seconds. So I'm calling this method sleep. Argument passed is two seconds. Now, if we execute it, Google form is loaded and then student name is filled automatically in this particular field. Similarly, we have to fill the fields for phone number, choose an option out of these two radio buttons and fill the answer for school or college name also. And finally, we have to submit the form. Let's continue it. So this XPath is actually the language used for locating nodes in an XML document. So being a cell name user can use this language to target elements in the web applications. Okay, next we should get the phone number. So let me store the mobile number in a variable called mobile and I will just give a dummy number. Okay, and similar to this, copy till this one. Okay, I'm going to retrieve the export for phone number field. Select phone number field, inspect select the one which is highlighted copy xpath alone then paste it here okay and similar to the previous one 
phone dot send underscore keys we are going to pass mobile okay the next field is you have to choose from two radio buttons let me name it as cell underscore button and just pass the x path directly we have dot find element by x path i want to click college radio button so right click on college and inspect just verify whether you have chosen the exact field so copy this x path and paste it here once you are done with it you can just give cell underscore button dot click method that particular button will be clicked last thing is you have to fill the school or college name since i have selected college name it may give col underscore name and i am mentioning the college name here again college name is equal to web dot find element first argument is x path and the second argument is the x path for college name and you have to give c name dot send keys of call underscore name okay fine so we have entered all the values the last step is you have to submit the form so in order to submit the form just select the submit button and give inspect copy xpath submit equal to web dot find element xpath copy in the xpath here and finally you can give submit dot click okay that's it let's execute it now got an error element not interactable maybe my internet connection is slow so time dot sleep let me give it as 3 so now everything is filled and after pressing the submit button we are redirected to the response page that's it now we can do a small modification so this window is not maximized we have a method to maximize this chrome window so we can call this maximize window here after web dot get method web dot maximize underscore window so it is maximized Chrome window is maximized and then the data is filled. Okay, we got the response. So that's it about automating web using Python and Selenium. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.